In the wee hours of the morning, the Michigan legislature approved the plan to fix our roads. The cornerstone, letting you decide whether the sales tax in the state should be raised from 6 to 7%. That will require a constitutional amendment, and voters will head to the polls in May to make their voices heard about that. I talked to Governor Rick Snyder today about the timing of that vote. Why wait until May to get this on the ballot, Governor? Um, there's a schedule, and you need some time to run a campaign. So the first next real opportunity to do this in May, and to be blunt, that's pretty quick. And one of the things that's important is um, it will get people's attention. It's right during the end of pothole season, but by doing it in May, we'll have an opportunity to hopefully do some financing then based on the results if we get this passed where we can start road projects. Is this going to be a tough sell? Well, anytime you do a ballot proposal, it's a difficult process, but it's the right answer. Uh, this is good policy. This is a good answer for Michiganders. Does anyone like our roads? No. no. Um, and how many blown tires and bent rims did we have? This will provide over $1.2 billion of new money for our roads. It will also do it in a way where schools will get additional dollars, local government, um, public transit. What it will do is also put all the transportation related costs on the pump towards roads instead of going to general sales tax. Our pump prices are not going to go up very much. Just three cents based on last year's prices, and we're going to have tax relief for low-income people. If it doesn't pass, what then? Well, that's a huge problem because, again, the voters would have spoken, and we'll be back to where we started from. <laughs> Nobody wants that, right? No. We want to get these roads fixed, so we'll see if it goes through. Now, the big question then is how do voters feel about a sales tax increase? Yeah, that's the big question. So we send 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Bisram out to talk to drivers about the plan and whether they'd be willing or you'd be willing to open your wallet for a smoother ride. I'm glad that they're leaving it up to us because we're the drivers. 69-year-old Carmen Collier says her car got stuck in a pothole earlier this year. There's no pothole. And I kept rocking back and forth. It was too expensive to fix. I had to buy a new car. She says she supports a sales tax hike if it means better roads. And she isn't the only one. I'm willing to pay my fair share. I just want to see that this money is going to actually go to fix our roads because there's a lot of work to be done here. The state legislature approving a plan early this morning on the last scheduled day of the lame duck session to increase the sales tax from 6% to 7% to help fix crumbling roads. At least something's going to be happening now. Now it's up to you to decide. The measure means a special election in the spring, which voters will have to vote yay or nay. A statewide election that could cost about $10 million. Do you think we should pay more in sales tax to help fix the road? Uh, no. Carmen says if it means keeping her new minivan out of the mechanic shop, she doesn't mind. Fix them right. You know, make sure that it's going to last. So what's next? The bill now going to the governor's office for his signature. He is expected to sign it before the new year. Then it will be on the ballot in May for your vote. In Ferndale, Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News.